It's your boy DeMonte. We're on the Growing Up Italian Podcast, baby. Barista. Wait, so you're from Staten Island or yeah. born and raised? Yes. So you're Staten Island Italian? Yeah, you Staten can say that. Yeah. Yo, that, that gender reveal had me dying. You see the video? Oh, you don't You don't have an Insta? Oh, right? you don't have Insta, yeah. Nah. Well, we're rolling right now. This is Anthony DeMonte. I thought you were Anthony DeFonte. But yeah, people get that mixed up. My father's partner, Nikki DeFonte, it goes down generations in his family. His father owned it. His grandfather owned it. And then they took my father in as a partner because he had a lot of experience in the food business mm -hmm. 23 years ago. 23. 23. 23 in the tree house. 23. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. One letter off. Indubitably. <laughs> right? You're DeMonte. He's yeah. DeFonte. And H, you're missing H in three. Hmm? You're missing H in three. I don't get it. You said tree. Like oh, tree in the tree. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like a tree. Now I know what you're saying. Ooh. Tree. <clears throat> Wait, we didn't introduce this podcast right because... Wait, what are, you, what are we doing here? Low salt, black pecker, okay. extra virgin, <laughs> balsamic glaze. Low salt, we should not salty enough. Aggressive cut. Oh my God. And the finished product. <laughs> now we're ready. Now we're ready now, to go. Now we're ready. I'm, so, I'm amped up. Now we're ready to so go. So that's how you talk normally when you're making a sandwich or your family? No, like no, absolutely not. <laughs> this is how I talk normally. <laughs> but when the camera gets on me, that voice comes out. I feel like... People are just boring. These food creators, a lot of them are boring. Mm -hmm. They just say, uh, Yo, let me get a chicken color, tomato. Yeah. Like, what do you, you think know, about like, people? Fucking wake up, get their attention. You know what I mean? I get the people's attention. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's why I get views. What do you think about people that say you do the same like sandwiches all the time? Did you usually like, that? like in the comments, I'll see it like, you know, like, I like, like yesterday, I'm very the other day, versatile. The other day you did pastrami, they're like pastrami unlocked. Cause it's like the, like you did. A oh no, I did a pastrami video before. You didn't but do I, enough research I, on me, cuz <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I look at the comments, and even like a lot of people, even with us, we get it. But like 78th generation Italian. Yeah, yeah. Forget well, it. Like, what do you, the, what do you, I mean, listen. I'm from Staten Island. My father is. Um, his parents were from Moldy Body, mm -hmm. so like, and but my father is a Brooklyn guy. You know what I mean? And I was born in Staten Island. But my blood is Italian, mm -hmm. so like, I don't know. I don't pay attention to the hate. Like, Your dad I was I'm just from happy Red to Hook? be Italian. Like Red Hook, Brooklyn. Yeah. Where, where's that? Red Hook's where the Fontys are. Red Hook. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Rock, no, he was, ever, he he actually grew up in downtown Brooklyn, right there. Right yeah, yeah, door. basically right there. Yeah. Have you ever been to the Fontys? Nah, bro. My my sandwich portal is like Williamsburg. That's all I know. Isn't that oh, a shame? Yeah. No, nah, I mean, yeah, you can spread your horizons <laughs> a little bit, but no, nah, I mean, I like tell to. Rock some of the sandwiches the Fonty's got to offer. Oh, okay. The peck and egg. Let's start with, I know let's it's start a legendary with, spot. That I know. Let's start with the Golden Boy special. Chicken cutlet smothered in vodka sauce, melted fresh mozzarella. When it comes out, put a little black pecker, no salt because prosciutto, prosciutto is salty enough. Salty enough. Salty enough. A little extra virgin. All right, next, we got steak pizza yeah. all. Tender, melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Yeah, I love steak pizza. Fresh mutts, put it in the oven, comes out, amazing. And then we got the potatoes and eggs. That's famous for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, potatoes and eggs. We have a secret recipe, melted fresh mutts in there. Potatoes on the eggs? Egg. It's unreal. Nice. We scoop it out and put it on the sandwich. So there's about like, I would say like nine to ten eggs on, yeah. the, on a sandwich. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Let's get yeah, your protein. They, make, they make like a whole tray. Yeah. And then they cut it up. To, I'm sure a lot of like working... People oh, come to you your guys shop. put on like, like the steam Oh workers. yeah, construction workers, longshoremen, yeah. firemen, cops. That's what like a lot of work. That's like the biggest clientele in the sandwich business. Mm -hmm. And then we got like a lot of just regulars that come and hang out. We have like we have like a little place you could eat, like stand up, and then like a little sitting area, but not really. People usually just take their food to go. To go yeah, eat in the know? car or some shit. But yeah, it's like that's it's good. like a family. I know, you guys got an iconic spot. And, bro, I got to be honest, with you especially, you definitely grew on me. 
Like at first, I was like, "Oh, you're one of those comments." I, you're nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got I got those user two four six seven nah, eight. Nah, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a troll. Nah, but at oh, first, I was like, "Man, like first with all the respect." Be honest. No, no, I, I, not that I didn't like you. I was like, "Oh, this is like another Kooj, right?" You, you know Kooj, another right? Kooj. He would say Walmart. At, I'm at completely first, different than at Kooj. first. At first, then, I am 110 percent different than you. Got me with the bare style. That once you said bare style and you and your father, I was sold. And I was like, wait, okay, this guy's what is actually- bare style though? Moldy body. Yeah, yeah, but what is where bare is? So my my father's parents always cooked bare style. They were from Moldy body, straight off the boat. But what they, is bare style? That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> <laughs> Can I <I'm> finish? So, <laughs> come on, over here. I'm just starting up. So, yeah, my uh, so they used to always cook this Italian food, food from body. You know what I mean? That's where they started. They came to Brooklyn, then they came to Staten Island. That's where they lived. When they passed away, they were in Staten Island, but they grew up in Brooklyn. My uh, father's parents. So they, it was like Christmas Eve every other day. Like you know what I mean? You go to that house and. Forget it. The spreads you get and everything. And my dad always used to scream, this is Bade style. This is Bade. This is way before TikTok. Yeah. Like a lot of my friends knew Bade style way before TikTok. And then TikTok came out. We started from my dad making the cooking videos. That's how I originally blew up. I would never yeah. follow him if it wasn't for my pops. You know, he made the mozzarella video, making fresh moots from scratch, and it blew up. Mm-hmm. And then... He was just screaming about Ace down the camera. People loved it, and we just rolled with it. And now we're here. Because people from Body are like super, super, super proud. Yeah, very passionate people. And you can't oh, understand yeah. anything they say. That Bades, accent. Babies. Bro, you speak Bades or? No, I don't. do not speak Italian. I was clear with all my followers that I don't speak Italian. Gotcha. But my pop speaks fluent. Yeah. Pops I mean, I, I could tell like his role of the tongue. And is I'm so actually natural. very mad that like I never learned. Like I actually want to learn, but I just don't know how to go about it. Yeah. I feel that. Like, what am I going to get a tutor? Nah, I know. I know what you mean. You could listen you to music. You get an Italian girl. You get an Italian girl, you know? Off the boat. Off the boat. That'll be... Straight from body. That's... that's Honestly, I feel like my mother is the last of the, like, old school Italian... Like, she's not even from Italy, but she does... She's just like an Italian woman, like, right off the boat. Like, yeah. laundry, cleans, cooks every night, works full-time job. She set the ball high for your... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm girl. saying. Like, how am I going to meet a girl like that in Staten Island? Yeah. There's probably a few out there like that, but not many. This guy's looking for a Christian, gem. You got to go ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> a What's diamond that? in the rough. <laughs> I don't know. No Tinder for you? Look no. it up. Nah, nah. No dating apps. None of that shit. Is I your... don't even have Instagram. I told you guys. I don't even have Instagram. Yeah, that's wild. I bet by the, end, by the time his episode drops, he has Instagram. <laughs> Yo, you, you are honestly convincing me. I might think about it. Maybe. Is your mom from body or no? No, no. She's... She's... Full Italian, but she was from Staten Island. What gotcha. what parts uh, Italy? Do you know? Right. Yeah, moldy body. The region is uh, Puglia. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but I'm saying your mom is she? She's also like, Napoleon or like? Oh no, oh, she's yeah. Sicilian. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. Wow, cause Sicilian bodies. Sicilian That's... and bodies. I get the dark skin in the summer, but bodies with the food can't beat it. Yeah. But like I was saying, you definitely grew on me a, a little bit, and then. Bro, me and my younger brother. Just a little bit. No, no. Like now now like I love you. Now I love he's you. A t- he's a tough critic. Bro, I'm, this one. I'm so hard to like, not impress, but like just to, to get a laugh out of me, it's like ridiculously hard. I just, when I watch videos on TikTok or in general, I don't laugh out loud. Like you find yourself laughing out loud or no? Nah, I really, I, I really just um, produce. I really don't consume. I really don't Oh, so you just put out and then don't like. Yeah, I, I look once in a while like, gotcha. and I'll support people that I follow. But yeah, like, yeah. I'm just focused on like what I want to grow. Yeah, but do you laugh at videos when you watch them? All the time. Yeah, see like I don't. Rock is I'm, as serious as a scarecrow. I'm like, maybe I'm like Scrooge or something with content. You know, I'm like, no, but. So, Rock just watches kind of like this. <laughs> Literally, that's me. <laughs> like you just see the light hitting his face. Yeah. That's me. Yo, honestly, I I feel like I laugh the most with my pops. Like we have the most fucking laughs. It's yeah. crazy. You two seem like you have a genuine, you know, relationship. Oh, forget it. He's like my best friend more than my father. It's crazy. Yeah, that's like, the best. Bond what would you have. say the best dishes he makes are? Besides, like you know, the stuff that you guys make at. I'm gonna shop. go. Oh, that's a no brainer. It's uh the fish salad. Yeah. My my poppy that was straight off the boat, moldy body. He That's your grandfather? Yes. Oh okay. uh, my father's father. Gotcha. And um, You said Poppy? Yeah, I call him Poppy. Poppy okay. and Nona. How do you spell it? P O P P I. P O P P I. Gotcha. I thought like Poppy's. I, I don't know. I never really tried to spell it. 
I just say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised but, not but known, he though. Makes, he makes a fish salad. None of that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's just fish. Mm-hmm. It's just shrimp, galama, uh, squingeli. What else is he putting in? Octopus. And that's about it. Uh, olives? Any olives in there? No, no, no. No olives. Straight no fish. It's just straight fish. Lemon? And the way he seasons it is just unreal. Yeah, lemon. We always squeeze lemon on it. And uh, my pops took his took over his recipe mm-hmm. and he makes that. That's by far the best thing. Yo, they would bring out... I actually posted it before, like a bowl like this. They got it Christmas Eve and it's gone. It's gone. What about panzerotti? You ever had panzerotti? Panzerotti? Oh, uh, yes, yes. That's uh, a big badass thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my uh, Norna used to make that. Very nice. What is that? Fried dough with cheese inside? It's like a calzone. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Man. What are some other people that you love to watch on TikTok? You said people you follow. Who are some of those people that you follow that you like? Um, I like I like all the Italian creators. Uh, Nikki and Jojo Scalata. Yeah, I'm nice. friends with them. They're so Staten Island guys. I always support them. I love them. Their pops is hilarious. Yeah. And um, I like Cooge. I like uh, Lil Mo. They both visited the Fontys. So I respect them right yeah. off the jump. And then I was telling you before, like I saw Cooge's back against the wall at uh, the St. Paddy's Day Parade. People coming over to him nonstop. And oh, he was celebrity. leading everybody. He's, he's, he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. You could tell he's a nice guy. So we were, me and Cooge went to this club in the city. And you know when you like pop bottles, like you could tell them like what to say on the sign? So somebody figured out he was there. And like we just finished going to the bathroom. We're hiding in the side, like getting ready to leave. They pull up like a sign to him. Welcome Cooge. No <laughs> bottles. His face all over the club. Oh all of a sudden, God. the whole club, Lil Pick was there. Fucking, the whole club starts coming over to take pictures. I'm like, yo, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Because I get anxiety. I'm like, I don't like that, you know? Like, when so many people know where you are and stuff. So I'm like, I don't know how, like, he deals with that. You know, do you, you know how do you I, handle like when people come up to you? You know what I think? It's, it's like, it's kind of natural to me because since I was 13, I was boxing. So. Uh, I had my first amateur fight at 13 years old. Stopped the kid in the first round. I was in the paper. So, like, people know me on Staten Island as the, as the boxer. You know yeah. what I mean? And then I won the Golden Gloves at 17 years old. I was fighting grown men. I won six straight fights in a row. In a row. In a row. In a row. <laughs> and then... Um, Sandwich talk. <laughs> and then I won... I won the Fighter of the Year the whole tournament. So, I was in the Italian newspaper. I was... You know what I mean? I, my name got out there. So, I was kind of used to the cameras just from interviews and stuff. So when I went into this field, it was kind of natural. Gotcha. I remember uh-huh. when uh, Jake Paul just fought. Right, that's who. Because I get the the two uh, scoongeels mixed up. Yeah, Jake Paul. He fought and lost right after you posted a video, and you said Jake Paul has no amateur experience. Yeah, that people don't know that goes a long way. I'm 37 and four as an amateur. Won the Golden Gloves, four time Metro champ, New York tournament champ. Like, he has no amateur experience. He just went into this because he saw an avenue where he can make money. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he would get exposed by any real boxer, and that's what happened. What Tommy you, Fury is in a Fury family, a boxing family, and he exposed them. You think Tommy's a good fighter? Yes, I do think he is. He is a bachelor. I mean, he doesn't take it as serious as regular boxers, but I think he, he is good. Did you watch that fight? Um, I saw clips. Okay. Do you think... From watching the clips, did you think Jake Paul put together a good fight? Yeah, no, I give him credit. I think he's at the he end of the better. day, I give him credit. Like he has, like I said, no amateur experience, and like he's still doing it. You know, I give him credit, but he got exposed. Like I knew would happen. I knew as soon as he fought somebody that had some amateur experience, like Tommy did, he would get exposed. So you, know? you said you know you. We're boxing at a young age. Are you still boxing today? Or Right now, I'm taking a break. I've been doing this since I'm 13, and I just feel like I needed something different. I needed to like just chill, like make money, work. and But I'm going to go back. I respect I'm a it. fighting man. I'm going to go from back. From the outside looking in, sure. I kind of saw you like using what you had going in the food platform to like kind of also boost your personality. personality and your fan base. So when you do go back in the ring, you know, you have people... Backing you up. Yeah, for sure. Maybe I could go into the celebrity box and if I get big with this and get a you bag an advantage. Quick, get a bag. He quick. wants the Fazuls. Over because, here. yeah, yeah those exactly. Are the big bags, I want the Scott Olds, bro. Yeah. Yo, my, I started pro. 
I made nothing. I had yeah. to go to work. Like yeah. uh, my last fight, I'll tell you straight up, I made thirty five hundred. How the fuck are you gonna live off that? Yeah. So much prep. Luckily you have some backing with your family that they're successful, they could help you out, you know? No, you really I mean, can't I, really I, can't live off thirty five hundred. Yeah, exactly. That's why I had to go to work. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna take money from my parents. I I pay my own bills yeah, and everything. Sure. And so I went to work. I also I work at the Fontes four days a week and I also do personal training on the side. What right. days are you at the Fontes? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday right now. Do people go in there and they're looking for you? Yo, last week somebody came from Miami. Oh A my family God. from Miami came. Syracuse. They're everywhere. It's wild from TikTok. And my dad loves it. I mean, the sandwich shop in all is big. We want mm -hmm. Rachel Ray, Diners, Drivings, and Dives. Mm -hmm. um, Guy Fury loved them. And we're still on there till today. It was... It aired five years ago, and we're still on it. They like Rerun, replay reruns. It. Yeah, yeah, they replay it. And we're on the news all the time. It's, it's 101 years. Still going strong. That's crazy, man. And, and it's crazy because that was like, before social media, being on those shows was a social media. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, being on a show like that was the biggest thing. I remember my dad, like, he had a thing where he's like, I want to be on uh, Guy Fieri's show. And <laughs> now it's like, Kind of do it yourself like you're doing. Yeah. Because you got what, people coming to see you. That's why I love TikTok because it's like free commercials for your business. Yeah. Like, I'm sure you're promoting your father's business. By the way, it's phenomenal. That thank you. Thank you. Vodka. Is it the best in New York the City, though? Bread. The Fontes is the best in New York City. Because <laughs> I had a bone to pick with you about but that. But I gave you I, I gave you a great rating because. You did. You did. A1 rating. I, I, don't think I, I don't think I ever. No, I never actually. You never 9.7? Not for a sandwich, no. I like not, that. Actually, actually, not for a pizza either, cuz. Wow. We're breaking barriers here. Cause but it's still not the best in New York City. No, DeFontes. I think it's the best in New York City. DeFontes is the best in New York City, cuz. Rock, what do you think? I mean, Casa de la Mozzarella has, <laughs> has entered the chat. You know? All right, so let's have, a little, <laughs> let's have a little fun. What are the best five places in New York City, not including DeFontes or Panini Shop? I can only give you three because I don't really eat at sandwich spots. And, uh, like, if I'm going to get a sandwich, I'll just go to Staten Island. So I'm going to go, and this isn't an order, Ariemas, Freddy's, and Royal Crown. Royal Crown Royal Crown is fire. And those aren't in order. They're just um, three of my favorite on Staten Island. If, if I'm not in Brooklyn uh, and I'm going to eat a sandwich in Staten Island, those are my three favorite. Your turn. What about you don't want to go? Because I told you, all I know is Williamsburg. All right, all right hold on. <laughs> you're you're going to have to come back, though. Um, So, my list is probably crazy. Wait, you I'm going to give you, like... You got a five? Definitely. He just I, and want, also, he wait, so you don't eat family. outside... That's how you know you're... Like, it's not the best in New York City. You don't eat outside of your father's shop? Because, look at my belly and look at yours. <laughs> While you're boxing, training, I'm eating and training. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel you it. You know what I'm saying? It. Like... Well, you have your, your yours. I have mine and another, you know, to compare. All right. You know? <laughs> You're a food connoisseur. Yeah, no, I, I'm just a gluttonous pig, you know? <laughs> but all right. <laughs> Best five types. And I'm going to give you like different styles, but gotta, this is no order. Cat's Deli. Iconic. I hate cats. Why? I don't like that. I think it's too big. How are you going to bite into that? A little at a time. You eat a little pastrami. And no, you eat a pastrami special from the Fontes. Pastrami, you get the hot cherry pet. <laughs> you get the pickles. You get the melted Swiss and the little mustard. I'm not a mustard guy, so I hold the mustard. But fire. I mean, like, who's going to eat something that big? You bite into that? That yeah. big? Yeah. I would say if you come to New York and your first sandwich, that's like your first sandwich spot, Cats. Just because yes. I'm real, not, Rocky? I think it's mad come overrated. On, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I think it's mad I overrated. I think it's perfectly rated. If you're a tourist and you say sandwich, New York, you're going to Cats. That's just the. They make their own pastrami. They got too. their flowers. You know, you got to give them their it's credit. Fine. They cut it with a knife. They don't even use a slicer, though. It's too thick. Because I've had other like homemade pastrami's with a slicer, and it's always very greasy. I never had the pastrami by your spot. Do you guys make it? Yeah. Oh, you do. Every, all okay. I mean is we make fresh every day. So I would have to try it to really judge it. All right, so that was yes, one. Yes, yes. You got to come to it. I came to your father's spot. You got to come to I've been to your, your dad's spot mad time. Who do you oh, think yeah? born uh, Kuja Nico there? Oh, yeah. I okay. drove him there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what's your favorite sandwich from the Fontes? Roast beef, eggplant, 
And the fresh mutts. And the fresh mutts. Love and I think there's gravy, the gravy on it, too. Yeah, yeah. the natural gravy. Yeah. You don't use but that motor oil Motor shit. oil, John's Deli, is one of my favorite spots. And even... With the motor oil? The motor oil is fantastic. You like the motor oil gravy? Have you ever had gravy? the motor oil what gravy? Is, is that like... Uh, so John, they give you a cup of gravy that's motor oil. See... It's just black, it's like black gravy. See, Defantes, we make it fresh from it's the amazing, roast beef. Though. It's yeah, the natural yeah. gravy. We put it on the bread. Natural gravy. Right. They have the motor oil. Cup. I feel, they, I feel, like I feel there's a hidden and problem. Yo, I don't want to talk bad about John's Deli because I like their sandwich, but I hold the motor oil. Yeah. I hold the motor oil. I love the motor oil. So that's like, it's not like <laughs> uh, Rolling Roaster, right? That's nah, regular? Nah, nah. It's literally black, the gravy. So it's like a grease. It's legit black. It looks like motor oil, but I don't know where they get that from. Yeah. Sounds like I need my stomach. I don't know how they do that. it, but I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah, for real. There's one in Staten Island, and I go with the kids all the time because I'm always there with them, and I have an hour to kill. The other day, I went in there, and I got... They're famous for, like, the roast beef, mozzarella, sautéed onions, and the motor oil gravy that he's saying on a hero. But I got it in a plate because I'm, you know, trying to watch my uh, <laughs> no six-pack. And it was phenomenal. So, John's Deli, Cat's. Uh, I would have to say this: these two should be considered one spot, but Cherry Valley and Christina's. Bro, I thought I was going to be crazy. I heard of Cherry Valley, never ate there, but I heard of Cherry Yo, Valley. Yo, you're out of your mind, All right, bro. so... You're out of your mind. Yo, you're, you're putting that top five? Rocky, give me, t- give me your Hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. All right. But for different for different things, these spots are all for different things. Christina's in Cherry Valley, one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, what's the best place to get a sandwich? Of course, of course. But that shit, is especially in trash, Queens, bro. Like when I think of those places, I have memories of taking a highway ride, yeah, smoking yeah. a joint, going to eat a sandwich, and that's how I came up with a lot of my sandwiches from seeing their stuff. So for me, those two spots are in the top. Oh, five. they're gonna love you. Oh, so that's you invented a lot of specials in your in your fellow yeah, spot, I, like half of the, at least half of the menu. Nice. Like 30, 40%. Because I'm one for one. I invented the Golden Boy, number one seller. I don't think I'm going to invent anything else. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Don't fix it. See me, the Sabino. <laughs> I mean, I'm like scared to invent anything else. <laughs> it's like a bottom seller. One of one. Yeah. The, the Sabino one sandwich, one, like that, because I was like a young kid working by the shop, 14, 15 years old, and we were making chicken salad, and we weren't selling it because we didn't have it on a sandwich. So I'm like the Sabino. Chicken <laughs> salad, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. That's it. We like... Marketing. That's only one, and they're like, now everybody's like, "Yo, the Sabino, like, you know, it's it's good. I love chicken salad. Chicken salad hits. It's very plain. Yeah, no, it's just chicken salad. What's your fifth? Well, I think I had three, right? Okay. Federoffs. You ever had Federoffs? No. So it's right here. They only have three sandwiches. They only have three selections. (laughs) It's like a Gordon Ramsay menu, like they're nice and short. They're known for the Philly (laughs) cheesesteak there. They make oh, it. Yeah? They make it like some people say. Their Philly cheesesteaks better than Philly. The people from Philly aren't gonna like that, but they they're from Philly and open here, so they're known for the Philly cheesesteak. Then they have a roast pork, broccoli rob, and provolone. I see that. And a lot. then they have an Italian combo, and then they have fries, and they make like loaded fries, fire. That's number four. Oh, you uh, put Christina's and Cherry Valley as one. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's like the same shit. Yeah. Um, then the last one I'm going to give you, because I, I told you like different styles in my neighborhood, brothers, HB. Yeah. Wait, H- bro- Howard beach brothers, ravioli. Oh, okay. I thought my you were talking Ange, about our uh, brother's pizza for a second. <laughs> what you said? Brothers pizza in Staten Island. That's my, oh yeah. You always, you always, you always, you always post that spot. I think, right? I, I posted it before. That's my pops' favorite spot, pizzeria. Yeah. But th- wait, there's a brother's sandwich. Ravioli in Howard Beach. Oh, wow. You ever been to Howard Beach? No. We That's... call it How You Doing Beach. <laughs> how You Doing Beach. Every time he gets the chance to say How You Doing Beach, he says HYD it. Beach. <laughs> he, nobody wants How You Doing Beach to be more of a thing than Sabino. <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> He's trying so Bro, hard. you got any spots that are on nah, the list? I mean... You don't got a five? or I mean, or it's what like I grew me? up on. It's, it's Panini Shop and my father's spot, Mama Rosaria, so... Oh, There's, your father has a sandwich. Yeah, yeah but he's like mad old school with it, so he doesn't... Oh, I got to try your father's spot. Yeah. But uh, our Zio, because his dad <laughs> and our uncle own it together, if you go there for saying he's going to give you a show. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's I a love character. It. Oh, just like my pops. The gravy, together. get the gravy. Da, 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 da. Sing a nice song, make a sandwich. Yo, our pops together, uh, forget it. 
Barez style cuss. Yeah. <laughs> Go <laughs> nuts. Everybody's going to be Yo, when I met your father, it was like talking to mine. It was wild. Yeah. Cut from the same cloth. Yeah, okay, for real. Before we go um, to the next subject, do you have a top five sandwich spot? Or, any, or anything I missed? There's a microphone over there. Cause By the way, we're adding a microphone for our, for our pal. Next, next is the video soon. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. Anything that you missed. Yo, rip him for Christina's in Cherry Valley, bro. That's yeah. Christina's in Cherry Valley as an adult <laughs> is not okay. That's Cause not when okay. did I say I was an adult? <laughs> I never, I never admitted to that. Yeah, not okay, not okay. All right, so you got nothing for us? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. you named all my favorite spots already. Yeah. Everybody. Rock had uh, Casa del Mozzarella in there. Oh, Casa del Mozzarella would add too. But uh, for, for the mozzarella though, but their sandwiches look fire. Sam- we oh, you didn't have. It I didn't have the sandwich. It was good when you guys had it. Hell yeah, yeah. That's the Bronx. Um, is there any other ones that we missed? Before? Man, Italians love talking about food, bro. I feel like that's all we talk uh, all about. day. So, some some other food. fun questions. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Absolutely not. Really? Absolutely not. Do you like hot dogs? Do you like nah. like glizzies? <laughs> I'll take You love glizzies huh I'll take it um, A water dog With some onions dirty Some onions dog? and ketchup Yeah Dirty water dog Yeah I'll you know, eat that But not off the barbecue Other like parts of uh, America Really like Take hot dogs serious Yeah I'm right. not crazy about it So them. just to clarify I'd rather like cheeseburgers Over hot dogs if you're gonna pick Is a cheeseburger a sandwich No nah. No, nah, it's not a sandwich it's a cheeseburger. All right. It's, it's, I, think sandwich. A, I think a sandwich is anything between bread. An item of food You think a cheeseburger is considered a sandwich? Well, let me give you the it's definition. Yeah, for real. Let's yeah. give the definition real quick. <laughs> An item of food consisting of two pieces of bread with meat, cheese, or other filling between them, eaten as a light meal. So <laughs> cheeseburger is technically a sandwich. All right. Maybe you proved me wrong, but, but I, I don't still know. Agree. In my book, it's, it's not, not a sandwich. Not a sandwich either. Some, some places like... All right. So Rocky agrees with me. We're yeah. two, two, two. <laughs> like, there was a luncheonette by the park here, and they used to put, like, if you order a cheeseburger, they would put it on a roll. Not to waste the bread, like a hamburger. They would just put them on rolls. Sometimes, like, a cheeseburger, like, that place Christina is, like, that's what gave me an idea for a sandwich. Like, they make a sandwich called the Fat Cat. It's two cheeseburgers, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo, ketchup on a hero. Man. Crazy. And it looked like the chopped cheese. Mm. It's a chopped up cheese. You ever had a chopped cheese? Yo, you know, I never actually tasted a chopped cheese. Never had one. I just don't understand, like, the mayo ketchup on steak. I think we should take like, it. I to just, one. Well, it's not steak. If you it's take, chopped up cheese. It's like a Philly cheesesteak, but chopped up cheeseburgers. You take me to the right place. Because, like, I, my, I like everything. I'll probably like it. Well, there's. The but place, I just feel like if I want steak, I'm just getting a steak pizza I owe from well, the farm. Th- that's the one thing. Though. It's not <laughs> steak, though. Like a monster. It, it's like a Philly cheesesteak, but with two burgers or a burger, you know? It's like a cheeseburger oh, here. I thought it, but it, yo, I thought a chopped cheese was just like steak cut up small. It's, with it's like, a hamburger. It's like oh, it's like wow. chopped meat. Boom, 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 boom. Melted in. I gotta give it a run. I want to go to the place that originally invented it, Uptown, because it comes from Uptown. Oh, I they never invented been it. There. Yeah. Three twenty-three on a Friday. There's no tables here. First come, first serve. We came. If you're from New York and you haven't come to Rockies yet. You're missing out. You're missing out big time. And if you're in Long Island, what are you doing? Come out to Rockies. What's better in Long Island? Very limited time offer. If you come here to eat, say you saw our video, you get dessert on the house. Mention GUI, and then I do a little bit of this. Rainbow cheesecake, cuz. Icing on the cake, baby. Yo, I just thought of an idea. Should we FaceTime Pop, see if he answers? Yeah, call him up. Barista. See what he's doing, yeah. Barista. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's up. Chop cheese. Can we ask him what Barista is? Oh, yeah, for sure. He'll, he'll give you the same answer as me. There he is. Barista! 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 Put, put, put the microphone down. Barista! Pops, they want to know what Barista nah, nah. is. What Barista means. Uh, Put this. I'm from, I'm from Molody Body. Well, what is it? What is it exactly? What is a style? That's, is it style. like? I'm from, 
I'm from body, so I say body style. Okay. That's exactly. <laughs> because if I said Napoli Dano style, that means no, I'll no, pickpocket you. If, if you're Napoli Don, you go, I'm Napoli Don style, right? <laughs> yeah, so but that would mean <laughs> that I'm going to rob you or something, or you're just fussing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm body, I go body style. That, that explanation is great. <laughs> Bob, how's your store? Is it busy? Yesterday was busy. Call Pops, what, one, one question for you. Who makes the best fresh mozzarella in New York City? Me. I'm the <laughs> legend. This is the legend. We're going right to stop by soon. My cousin never tried the Fontys. You got to come down, both of you. We will, we will, we'll for sure. There. Pops, I, I tried uh, Sabino's father's shop. It was up the park, cuz. We got to go. Yeah, a lot of- I heard about that place. A few people told me. Very good. We're close. We're close by. We got to do a sandwich for a sandwich. Bought a system. Yeah, any, we'll give them anybody. the Golden Boy and the Roast Beef Special. They give us their best, too. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Barista. <laughs> you got barista. You got to come down. Both come we'll, down co- we'll come by soon. Sounds good, Gucci. Maybe for a Fish Fridays. Yeah, come on Friday. Shrimp Parmesan. I don't. <laughs> Yo, yeah, cuz, this, this, is, this is Rocky. Hey. His name's Rocco. We call him Rocky. And this is Sabina. Rocky. Oh. Did, you tell my, did my son tell you he's got the quickest hands in America? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we maybe maybe you could show us, uh, you know, show, show the camera. I'm show you the thing on, uh, they put me on TikTok, how fast my hands are. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he wraps the sandwich the fastest. Wait, so. They said. They tied me. They said the fastest in America. Nobody can grab the sandwich. <laughs> I think we got to put my dad and your dad and see who's quicker. <laughs> oh, your dad can grab he the makes sandwich mo- fast? Well, no. He no, makes the mo- mo- mozzarella or wrapping a sandwich fast. No, he's talking Anthony, about yeah. wrapping a sandwich. Nah, he's fast. He's Anthony, fast. show him that TikTok with the one with the, when I'm in the, in the red outfit. Yeah. <laughs> he's a cheat code. He's yeah, a cheat code. Yeah, I know. Code. I got you. I got you. When you're wrapping the steak, beats I old. Yeah, show it to them. <laughs> we'll check it out. All right, pops. All right. Oh, love you, boom. Yeah, See you later. Ciao. Nice Likewise, take, take it easy. Take care, pops. Cause the apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? <laughs> you were the same yeah, person. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah, no, it's great. It's bad. I think we should talk about some of his catchphrases. Oh yeah, I got plenty. I can't wait to drop the merch. Is prosciutto salty enough? <laughs> Absolutely. It doesn't need salt. Salt will not go near prosciutto. What kind of prosciutto you guys use? You what have, kind of prosciutto? Honestly, San I, have, or I, have, Parma? I, have, I have no idea, to be honest with you. Okay, fair enough. No <laughs> idea. I don't know. You're very passionate about prosciutto. I don't know. Maybe you go something. Melts in your mouth and not in your hands. <laughs> Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. You know when you get a sandwich, it's in your hands, and it's falling apart already? When you bite into it, and it just melts in your mouth, it's just no effort. That's melting your mouth, not in your hands. Reminds me of 50 Cent Candy Shop. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> melt in your mouth, baby, not in your hands. Take it to the panini oh, shop. Wow. <laughs> I, I let you taste some, the soup. I soft. might have subconsciously got that from 50 Cent. Maybe. So now you got to start saying, like my friend. And Candy Cent. Shop is a great song. I'm yeah. always listening to that. Yeah? Still to this day? Yeah. Me. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, homie bastard. That's huh? one of Hello? my favorite songs, bro. <laughs> Hello? It's 2005. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I thought someone actually called you. He's <laughs> like, what an asshole picking up the phone. Then, <laughs> Yo, I'm a big oldie guy. Yeah? I listen to the old school music for like sure. I, I like 50, Biggie. Uh, then I like the oldies like Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. I've seen you in Ain't Pops. That a Kick in the Head is my favorite song. Me Can and you Pops sing word singing- for word? Oh, if yeah. someone has a gun to your head, <laughs> sing. Sing a, you need to sing a song word for word. Ain't That a Kick in the Head? Yeah, I'll give you. Yeah, you'll survive. And a kick in the head. She couldn't be any Me. better, or I'll be sad. Thank God you're a TikToker and boxer. First, <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you an invoice for the windows. You just cracked it. <laughs> no, but I, you know, I try to sing all the time, and like my nasally voice, it sounds like I'm talking like this. I can't sing for shit. So people always tell me like, "Cause you're horrible." Yeah, yeah. No, I think I'm good, but I'm terrible. Yeah. Sounds better in the shower than ever it does in person. Oh yeah, right? the echo from the shower. <laughs> it works every time. <laughs> so is there anything? But all right, another thing. You really with the whole Instagram shit that you don't have Instagram. How could you possibly? I, I don't mean this in like disrespectful way, but like being a content creator, 
how could you survive with I, like Instagram is usually the first thing. Oh, mm-hmm. I thought people you were gonna talk about on. how you get girls. The thing That's is, it, well, well, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Like, how do people thing. reach out to you without Instagram? Because, like, I'll be, I'll give you an example. Let's say I want to do a a podcast with somebody I see on TikTok. Mm-hmm. I find our Instagram and I message their Instagram. Mm-hmm. I see how you're doing. That looks good. I message her on Instagram. You know what I mean? Like. Instagram yeah, yeah. is the no, tool no, no, to message, is. you know? It is, like, probably the biggest app, but I put my mental health first, and it just, I don't like that app. I feel like I'm addicted to it when I have it, and I'm constantly scrolling, and it just puts me in a bad mindset. Once I got rid of that, that's when I grew my following. Four months. It only took four months yeah, to get bro, from 32K up. to 166K because I was just focused on myself, on, t- on TikTok, and just creating content, working, doing my thing, focused on myself. I feel like it puts you in like a comparing mindset, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Like you're looking at the best versions of everybody's life. The highlights. Of course, yeah. You know, like even if you're not that type to like compare yourself to people, like you can't help but do it because you're looking at the best versions of everybody's life. What about... So when I got rid of it, my mental health just got way better. And what I'm about like, if you just left it private then? And then you didn't look like that. No, but it's it's me though. Then you'll look through it. I'll, I'll scroll. You know I'll just weird? scroll for no reason, not caring, but like I'm still scrolling and just wasting time. I feel like I do that with TikTok all the time. Yeah, I look at, t- we look I f- at I feel like I look at TikTok. We all find ourselves in like a, a dungeon of just TikTok for hours, 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 you know? Sometimes at night I'll I'll be scrolling for a while and then I'll just like put my phone to the side. But like mostly I'm just like producing and not consuming. Yeah, you know? it's probably the best way to go about it. Yeah. Your work ethic is crazy though. Like mm-hmm. you, you literally post the most videos like of anybody I know. How yeah. many posts do you do a day? I do one. So for the last, for the last 90 days, Man. 90 days straight, I was like, I'm going to do 90 days straight. And then I went over 90 days straight and I hit a hundred K and I said, when I hit a hundred K, I'll take it easy. But then when I hit a hundred K, I got like more hungry yeah. and I was just like, now I'm posting even more. Like now it's always once a day, but mm-hmm. sometimes two Twice. or three times a day. Sometimes four. Three times a day. Tree. So in the tree how do you house. get your ideas for the videos? Is it just like what you want to Yo, eat? my brain just doesn't stop. It just, it's crazy. I'm always thinking about like, yo, like I hit that, after you hit me up was when um, I hit that viral video, 5 million. Which one? That I have it? pinned. I'm um, making the sandwich outside with Bob in the background. Bob? Pops. Oh, Pops. No, no, <laughs> Bob. Bob, oh. the, the dummy in the background that you hit. That's the Who viral means? video, the, the Bob's in the background, and I'm making a sandwich outside. I don't even I'm not I sure. Saw if it. I know. That's when you hit me up after. That's why I thought you guys hit me up. No, I but just it hit saw it hit 5.1 mil, and then the next day I was just posting again. I didn't get like satisfied. Like yeah. every day I'm just like, all right, what can I do next? I'm just I'm just gonna keep it going. Freaking Hopefully Bob. TikTok doesn't get deleted because. I mean, really Instagram. Instagram. I mean, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be just as depressed. Trust me. Most of our content's from TikTok. Yeah, TikTok's the most. I feel like it makes too much money for them to just get rid of it. But it should be all right. You personally, if you had to eat one sandwich every day for the rest of your life, Golden Boy. So the prosciutto, the, yeah. the chicken vodka, mozzarella, chicken cold smothered vodka sauce, melted fresh mutts. When it Your comes out of the oven, it's always saying smothered too. Smothered. It's you don't just say vodka sauce. It's smothered. It's smothered <laughs> in vodka sauce. I do extra vodka sauce. And then when it comes out, you don't put the prosciutto in the oven because then it'll, it'll get all messed up. So when the when it comes out of the oven with the fresh mozz melted on top, then you add the prosciutto, like nice one layer, and then you put the black pepper and a little extra virgin. Just a little drizzle extra virgin. Is the prosciutto cooked a little or you put it cold? Like is it fried? No, no, no. Right on there. Right it, on the, there. the sandwich is hot enough. It's it's good. It, yeah. It's it's nice and cozy in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have a fried prosciutto? S- sits tight, cuz. Nah, never. Yeah. Yeah. You did Because it gets very salt. It get, that's when prosciutto is salty enough. Yeah. You fry it? Nah, I mean, I don't. I don't. Like you put it on the grill real quick, and it gets very... It's basically like, ham at that point. But, you know? it, like, if you do prosciutto... Yeah, it changes the, the whole texture, everything, probably. Do no. uh, egg, mozzarella, and prosciutto a little fried. With eggs? Prosciutto or eggs? Prosciutto, yeah, eggs, and I can see that working, but I feel like that's it. disrespectful. Melts in your mouth and not in your hands. <laughs> yeah? I'll give it a run. I mean, I'm not opposed oh, to anything. What are some other catchphrases? Give it a run. What does that mean? Oh, we'll give it a run. We'll, we'll give it a try. You try know? it out. Like, like I don't know how I came up with these. Run like, around the just, block with it? 
No, no, give it a run. Like, give it a taste. Give it a okay. test. Give it a test. What other ones did we miss? The, where did Pekka come from? That's, yeah, like, I think yo, that, Pe- Pekka's this. Oh, yeah, the, it's the, like, the, how's your Pekka down there? You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> yeah, the, that's the comments get flooded. Everybody has a dirty mind. I mean, it's just like a, a nice, enthusiastic way to say. Were you trying to be different hey, when you started it? Like, like, how can I be different? No, there's a story behind it, but. Everybody wants to know the story. Oh, you're going to hold it? Yeah, you're going to hold, hold it tight. You're going to save it for... No, there's a story behind yeah? it. No spoilers yeah. here. You're going to save it when, like, um, Dave Portnoy hits you up for an interview? <laughs> 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 we can't get the exclusive the, the no, Dave, nah, nah, nah. I just, I just, <laughs> I just want to hold it. You know, right. I want them... Like, they really want to know. Every time I go live, they're like, give me the pack of story. Give me the pack of story. I can't. Damn, people really want to know that bad. Huh? Yeah, I mean, really I wanted to story. know, so I can only yeah. imagine other people. What about if we charged everybody $5 to hear the pack of story? And how many, how many hours do I make, cuz? <laughs> we go, we go, you know, we, we figure out. We get 20%, you get 80. You give me $3,000. Like, <laughs> that's what we do. We'll go, we'll go on Instagram Live and say, pack of story, coming soon. <laughs> For three thousand, yeah. <laughs> right? It'll work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm holding on to hey, it. Hey, yo, is that a shirt? Uh, yo, That's merch a- is coming soon. What? What? Well, what I'm in. I'm in touch with a design. I actually, shout out to my brother-in-law. Actually, shout out to my sister too because they're the best. They get married uh, next month. I can't wait for that. That's awesome. And um, my brother-in-law is helping me with the merch. He's got a designer ready nice. to go. We're already. Giving him designs, and we're gonna come out with a tree. Actually, different shirts, <laughs> different shirts, and I'm I'm excited about it. Do you want to talk about the designs? A surprise? Uh it's a it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Some catchphrases? Yeah, it's catchphrases. Yeah, well, my catchphrases, but like I want to get it perfect before I drop it. Yeah, you yeah. know, like I want to really be like yeah, proud yeah. about it before I drop it. Would you sell them in the fonties too? Um, I, I actually didn't think about that. Maybe I, no, I think I'm going to do shipping. Yeah. I'm going to do all the shipping by myself. Oh, damn. Yeah. You want, you want I don't want to get first? anybody involved. Yeah. I want me and my brother-in-law to be like, so I'm going to go on Instagram and, live. All right, guys. Live discount right now. Yeah. I'm going to have, yeah, live, I'm going to have, I'm going to have the link in the bio. Yeah, you just you buy it right from there. It'll be a nice website. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see you fold the shirt. Right and right then there. as, as good as it does, if it does good, you know, then. Every other month, we'll come out with like a different drop. Yeah, merch is tough. It it's worth it, but it is a lot. Like especially, it's a tough business, but it's. I feel like it's good. I feel like it's a good money, way to get you get you people who support you too. People will support you more. You'll see who your fans are. Like if yeah. Yeah. if you're if people are buying merch, then you know you have fans. Like, for, like for if, let's say I do this drop, like and nothing sells, then I'm like, I, yeah. I don't know. Oh, as many fans as I thought. <laughs> this like this is the tough part, right? It's like knowing how many sizes to order for each thing, because like you think like, oh, mm. you know, bunch of smalls, then it's like you sell more of the other sizes you didn't think you were gonna sell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's that's the tough part. Because sometimes you'll sell everything, then be just stuck with one size. Yeah, it happens to us and all the time. It happens to us all. It happens to everybody. Oh, really? Yeah, so we get some merch. I didn't even know you or, had merch. Yeah. Even, even. You're uh, gonna leave out of here with a care package. Don't worry. Even oh, doing like pre- pre-orders, you know? Oh, pre-orders. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. To be honest, I know nothing about it. That's why my brother-in-law. He's he's a shop guy. He's yeah, really yeah. Smart do, do your homework on it too, though. You just, and he's uh he's helping me with the process. I'm honestly clueless on how to how to go about it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, if you need any help, we'll, we'll help you any way we can. When, what I love it. about you, bro, is let's talk about that haircut for a second. All right, show the camera the sides over there. Look at that. action, cuz. I yeah. actually just caught it. It was way longer. Yeah? Bro. He got yeah. Zio yeah. 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 You remind me of We have an uncle, uncle that has the same, like the, the mullet. Is yeah, it a mullet? It. Yeah, I consider it a yeah. mullet. I got short on the sides, you know, the long in the back. And it's a mullet. It's a good look on you. You always had that? Thank you. No. I actually had a ton of different hairstyles. If you actually look, it's actually really funny. Uh, when I fought for the Golden Gloves when I was 17 years old, beating grown men, I had a fucking Justin Bieber haircut. That's why it was so oh, crazy. Really? What a, That's like why a, I think I got like, so much attention. What's a Justin Straight Bieber? Straight JB haircut. Like a the, bull? Like, like the, the hair in front. You can pull it up on Google. It's actually me just like in a blue tank top <laughs> like this. And I have a Justin Bieber haircut. If you type in Google, Anthony DeMonte Golden Gloves, that picture will come up. You look like such a nice guy. Like, nobody would think that you would rock people in the ring, you know? 
With yeah, that haircut, a lot especially. of people think a lot of people that I know don't even know I'm a boxer. I never bring it up. Like you post sometimes though on TikTok. Yeah, you, yeah, you know. TikTok. I, I, like, those clips. I started posting workout videos, and they they started doing good. So I yeah. just like me. Well. I'm like, like uh, don't fix what's not broken. Like if something works, I'll just keep putting it out. Yeah. So like I'll, I'll post workout videos once in a while. So, if Jake Paul calls, yeah, that's so crazy. You said that easy, easy money. Yeah, <laughs> easy money. All right, would you fight him for free? Absolutely not. Get, get a bag. What? I don't fight what, for free. What about if, <laughs> I'm a prize fight. I'm a pro boxer. What about if? What I about in the ring for free? What now. about Might if we'll just go to the gym and spa? <laughs> what about? What about if it was like? I mean, all the publicity you get would be crazy. That's why I said. Nah, for I need. A, I need a bag. Like, how much? Yeah, how much to get the fight? That fight. I mean, if it six would, figures. I, I mean, he doesn't even know who I am. Probably so big, but like, yeah, I would. Get, I would get. Over a million for sure. If I fought him, everybody that fights him gets over a million. So who's like your dream fight in terms of TikTok stars? Like who would you want to square up with? <laughs> I never really thought Wait, about that. Wait, he say f- with a fight or knock someone out? It's completely different. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. Like right, none right. of them stand a chance with yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and, and I'm not saying right, that so in a cocky way, but I just have experience. These who, guys who are would, just off social media. What real the professional rich. boxer would you like want to fight if you could? If you had that one dream fight that you could fight somebody, who would it be? Um, a, all right, I'll say this: um, battle the Italians like me versus Toro Gotti because he was just a like I, I love him in your prime. You're saying, like, like, like yeah, like me and him just going to war. Like he has such a big heart. I know I have such a big heart. It would just be like it would be magic in the ring. Like, but I respect him. It's not like bad blood. Like that would be. Unreal. Goals. Italians yeah. packed out in like the Barkley Center or Vegas and me and a Toro Gotti going at it. Forget it. That would be my dream, but like it would never happen. Rest know, in peace. I know a lot of people in yeah. uh, on the TikTok world hate or love on the kid Ryan Garcia. You know what that is or not? Oh, yeah. Ryan. I'm so hyped for the Ryan Javante fight. Yeah. Who you got, actually? When is it? Fight. When is that fight? It's April, right? April something. April. Who do you predict is going to win? I think it's 50-50. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think it's 50-50, but I think I'm edging a little more towards Ryan because he got the height, his speed, he's a little quicker. I think he might catch him with that hook. He has that, that, that hook, you don't see it. I like he, he's got speed. I think, do you think Javante is the new Floyd Mayweather? He could be if he keeps his head right. He's crazy talented. He's like a Tyson. He's like a Tyson in the lightweight division. Yeah. Because, like, I'm in the circle, so I hear about boxing. I hear that he spars heavyweights. Wow. Yeah. He spars heavyweights. Yeah. Like, it's... He well, has, like... You think that helps power. him, though? Because he can I just, mean, like... He probably run. gets, like, regular... Because, like, how sparring is when you're, like, sparring and stuff. Like, whoever's in the gym, you'll spar with around your weight, you know? He probably just... He probably KOs guys and whoever, whoever pulls up, he's ready. And for so it. like they probably put in like bigger guys, you know, to give him work. Yeah, because you need to get work. Like he's that much advanced. He's special, that kid. What weight class were you? One forty seven. You still That's welter middle, weight? Welter, okay. But um, I was thinking about going to one forty. I go back. I'll probably go to one forty, which is uh, super lightweight. Now you remember like cutting weight for these fights when. Was it, how is that? That's the only thing I hate about boxing. Not yeah. being can't able eat. to eat. You know, me, I love to eat. And um, yeah, you got to have a strict diet. And there's, no, chicken, right? there's no partying too. I like to party. Yeah? I go, yeah. You I seem go, like I, a, you know, nah, nah, head on go, straight, you know. I, on the weekends, it's lit, bro. I go, go bananas? Out. Yeah, I go out. Staten Island or in the city? Staten Island, Hoboken, city, wherever the night. Like my boys, we talk and then like, Show we want to go out lit? wherever. What happened? The group chat's lit? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, Durham boxing, I can't do any of that. I'm yeah. just, it's like basically like you're in jail. That's how I treat myself. In the army. That's that's how like you're going to succeed. Yeah. Like if, you, if you're messing around, it's going to show in the ring, you know? So when I have a fight booked, I'm in jail. In jail in my head. And a, lot, a lot of, three a lot times of fighters a day have that mentality. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of the good fighters, yeah. I mean... The fight is that don't get exposed. That's yeah. That's how it is. What's next for you? Like, what do you see yourself in five years? That's a good question. Wherever God takes me, honestly. <laughs> that's a good answer. Yeah, I'm taking it day by day. 
But if you had to I'm having fun with life, I'm your, in a good your place. goals though, like if you had to say like this is where I want to be, I'll, I'll tell you my end goal. My end goal, yeah. I always I always said like I want like like boxing to be my platform, and I want to do other things. I would say I want to be an actor. I want to be in movies. Okay. I feel like I have what it takes. I, I, can, I can see, see you. That. I can see that for sure. Thank Will be you. your dream role in a movie, that. a villain. Like I want to play like, like, the, the bad Joker. Guy? Yeah, the Joker. Give us a little audition. A little. <laughs> You're an actor, huh? Nah, I'm Black not an actor. Black Packer. <laughs> what the fuck's he gonna say? Black. Yeah, like give me like give me like a fucking I don't know like a lion. I don't know. I don't know. You're a villain. I'm I'm usually I'm the a good villain. guy. I, I'm trying to think of the joke. Right, maybe the joke. We, uh, no, please don't hurt me. <laughs> that's not the villain. No, that's me. And then oh. you, uh, you know. No, please. Look. Don't rob me. Look, there he is. Peck on the head. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> so, sounds like the worst horror movie of all time. Yeah, Who, yeah. Who's your favorite actor? My favorite actor, Robert De Niro or Leo. Leonardo okay. DiCaprio. Okay, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio is a legend, too. Wolf of Wall Street's one of my favorite what do you, movies. Right, two, we'll, we'll talk about De Niro and uh, Leo, but what do you think about the fact that a lot of people... Because for us, whenever we post De Niro, it's like... 50 50 thing maybe even 60 percent don't like him 40 do what do you like what's your, what's your opinion about that like about robert de niro like why do you think he gets so much hate um probably his beliefs mm -hmm. but i just i look at him for like i don't know him as a person i know him as a, like a legendary actor so i'm gonna love the guy like i agree with you, you. know i like but you don't know him behind closed doors he could be like a really nice guy like everybody has different beliefs yeah. Like I feel like, but he, he gets hate because of his beliefs. Yeah. What do you? What movie do you think he was like the best in? Oof. Or you could give me two or three if you oh, want. Oh, Casino by far. Casino's the best by far. By I far. I just watched Casino. Goodfellas on our flight back from New Orleans. <laughs> He's amazing in that too. Mm -hmm. he, his his uh, character in that is classic. And Leo, he uh, recently went viral. Leonardo DiCaprio just recently. This is what you don't have Instagram, so yeah, I'm out of the loop, bro. I don't know what's going but on in the world. Basically, like his last couple relationships, as soon as the girl turns over 25 years old, he gets rid of her and then goes back to a young girl. Oh yeah, that's what he does. Yeah, what do you think about that? <laughs> he's still a legend. Do you agree with those beliefs? <laughs> he could do what he wants, bro. He's Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean. It is what it is. He's probably looking for the right one. You yeah. know? Would you rather be Robert De Niro or Leonardo Who? DiCaprio? <laughs> Robert De Niro? Who was that? Robert De Niro <laughs> Robert or Leonardo De Niro? DiCaprio? <laughs> Wait, how did I say it? Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. <laughs> you know Robert De Niro? <laughs> um, if I had to pick one, I mean, Robert De Niro's old as hell. Leonardo. In their cool. prime. Oh, in their prime. Oh, that's a tough question. I would go with Robert De Niro. Yeah, bro. I'd probably go De Niro too. Yeah, so in his prime. De Niro. Who would you rather fight? <laughs> oh, good question. From the rafters. No, I wouldn't want to fight any prime. of them, bro. I want to go out to dinner with them and chill with I them. I will say Robert De Niro in his last uh, Irishman movie, in that movie Irishman, he has a fight scene, and I just saw him. I'm like, his back is going to hurt after this shit. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that, that, that part? It's probably mm -hmm. a stunt double or something, you know? I don't know, bro. The technology today. It looked it look, it look like him. It looked like Oh, wait. Yo, my opinion completely changed. Rage and Bull is actually my favorite The Narrow movie. That's another great one. Rage and Bull, movie, bro. Though. Rage and Bull is clay. You know when he throws a steak? You bother me over a steak? He throws a steak. You don't remember Man, that? He never saw it. Oh, you I never saw, saw it? it? I gotta watch it. You saw it, it right? Yeah, yeah. It's on my list. I don't remember yeah. everything like explicitly like that. Oh, you don't remember when he throws a steak? So his, so, uh, his wife is bothering him. <laughs> no, 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 he's saying, he was like, come on, the steak is done. And she's not bringing out the steak. He's like, come on, the steak, it, the steak is done. Bring out the steak. She still doesn't bring out the steak. He flips the table over and he's like, you bother me over a fucking steak. Bogs out. Yo, it's the funniest, <laughs> funniest clip you'll ever see. Uh, roid rage? Bull. Oh yeah, he goes wild. Raging bull. I mean, no, there was no roids back then. No? Nah? I don't think so. Not I mean, I didn't mean literally, but you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, he was just a nut job. It, maybe there was yeah. also the scene, do you remember when Joe Pesci was cracking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. like, open up my cut. Open up my cut. <laughs> maybe he was like doing semen retention. 
No, yeah, that's also in the movie. Yeah. Oh, it is. So yeah, that's a real. I even watched this movie. That's a real thing, right? That's a. <laughs> Would you do semen retention, Cuz? I know I boxers. Mean, I, do did, that, right? I, I did that for, for boxing. Fights. Yeah, I did that for fights. Because I know Jake Paul and his girl Julia Rose. She's like, yeah, we have we can't do this. Yeah, for a so few like, weeks. yeah, no, that would yeah, be impossible. You can't. You can't. You can't for. I would just do a show up here. You think he's just? <laughs> <laughs> you think Jake Paul was just eating a lot of seafood salad the whole time? <laughs> Probably just to get the taste. <laughs> <laughs> do you have you have any crazy uh, questions? For, I have a I have a crazy question I want to ask, but. Uh yeah, I guess I do. Not not that it's crazy, but you in your prime versus Rocky in his prime. Rocky who? Marciano? No, no, no. Rocky Balboa. He's a fictional character. He's an actor. Cause that he can he knows how to box. Come on. Adrian! You really think he knows how to box? Oh, come on. Is this a good question? No, this is a terrible question, cause he doesn't know how to box as an actor. <laughs> I put him on his ass in one round. I hit him yeah, in the but body. how do you how do you explain that he beat Apollo Creed? Yeah, <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Are you kidding me? You no, really I'm think about Rocky... to walk off? <laughs> <laughs> you really think Boy, Rocky Vince is your Gandhi, cause? <laughs> but Rocky definitely knew how to box, bro. There's no way he didn't. He got taught by people, but he never sparred against. Pro box. I just like for, for for sure. You know that. Hundred like, percent. He's just an actor. So when you're an actor, because I like when you're an actor and you like do a boxing role, they're just gonna teach you the basics, how to throw a punch, yeah. and stuff like but that. It looked, but like, like he looked but like, like he knew one, what he was doing. Yeah, I know. But like, did he spar against pro boxers? Like, I'm I'm sparring against world champions when I was yeah. a teen. Like sparring against high level fighters. Like like it's experience. Like, once you get it, you don't know what it is until you get in there. Like, yeah. you could hit pads and look good. There's a lot of people that never got in the ring and they hit pads, they look good. Right. But, like, once you get in there, then you know. Like, so, once you get that first crack to the mouth, mm -hmm. when you, you're blocking, you're worrying about defense, offense, how to maneuver, how to grab angles. Like, like it's it's a science. Boxing. So, you put Sly in his ass, is what you're saying. Oh, I hit him with one body shot to go down. He has no experience. <laughs> he was never a boxer. He never fought amateur. He never fought pro. Yeah, 41 man. amateur fights. Yeah. 4 and 0 as a pro. Like, come on. Suddenly, uh, Rocky Balboa doesn't glisten anymore. <laughs> I thought he was a great. I mean, I, I respect Rocky <laughs> Balboa, but I'm just. I respect He'd Rocky Balboa. I love Creed. the Rocky movies, but I'm I'm just answering the question. Who is the Rocky? Drago. 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 Yo, Drago's right? no joke, though, bro. <laughs> bro, he was he was running on the machines, bro. <laughs> you saw his training this in Philly, bro? <laughs> running up all those steps, cuts. For the camera, three point two seconds running up the mountain. Hot sun. Yeah, on fire. I'm out there in the cold, fucking running for a fight for fucking seven miles. Because all those see that on video. raw eggs that he ate. Come on. Yeah, the raw eggs. Yeah, probably would have got him to beat me. <laughs> are you Are you a fan of uh, the Rocky series? Oh yeah. I Which is the best one? One. One. By far. I agree. I agree. Wait, Wait what are you, you gonna say? One? Rocky five. His name's Rocky, of course. Rocky. Rocky, yeah. Rocky three. Yeah. Rocky four. No, they're all good, I feel like. Uh, five, I didn't really like. Five was trash. Yeah, five was the worst. And then, technically, it's a six, right? It's just yeah. Ro Rocky Balboa that when one he was, was older. That one was even worse, the five. But Now they're doing, like, Creed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a those? fan of the Creeds. I watched the first one. I I wa yeah, I watched the first one, and I, was, I wasn't interested in it, honestly. Fair enough. All right, for my crazy question. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Who knows what this you, is going to be? Someone's giving you a blank check. Any amount of blank money you check. want. Or you got to move to Mars for a year. Are you doing it? Wait, so I could write any amount of money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then just live on Mars for a year? Yeah. You could put me in jail in Rikers Island for a year. If you give me any amount of money, I'll do it. No, so, but it's yeah, Mars. percent I'm out. It's Mars, though. I'm out. No prosciutto, no gabagol, no mozzarella. I'll no. filter feed. Come home to fucking a uh, <laughs> billion feed? dollars. Filter feed? Yeah, I'll put myself a year. All right, what about if it was for like five million? One year. Five million, one year? Wait, but I don't get no food. I'm going to die. No, you just get like <laughs> astronaut food, like stuff in like... Uh, I'll, I'll live? You'll live. Yeah. You might F come back a little shy. One year is nothing. One year goes like this. Five million? I'll come out a little squat odd, but then I'll be fucking in the club <laughs> throwing bands. <laughs> Tito's. And then 10 years later, he's going to go Yo, back Tito's to Yo, Tito's is actually my drink. Tito's club, cuz. If you could bring three things to Mars with you, only three things, what are they? <laughs> you mean tree, right? Tree. <laughs> tree things. Me, I would bring tree. I'll bring mad papan. Yeah. For the year. 
I'm bringing. <laughs> really? You need that? Uh, <laughs> I'm bringing trees. Bro, they're gonna think that they're gonna think that rocket blew up. All this I'm bringing like a. I'm bringing like a set of thirty pound weights. Pops his best fresh schmutz in New York City. <laughs> and then I'm bringing my dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just to chill with. It's the know? best. You need company. You need yeah, yo, company. my dog's the best. The dog's going to hate you, but at least, you know, he's giving you company. Yo, my dog, like, we like, we chill, you know, like, we play and shit. At least you can take <laughs> you'll have all the you'll have all the room in the yo, world she's to a, play over there. Yo, my dog's a, a half poodle, half Havanese. She's mad fun. Like we bite each other and shit. We like nice. fucking play. Boy yeah. or girl? Girl. What's she's her name? Wild. Her name's Lily, but I call her Lilium. 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 So you gave her a boy's name. <laughs> that's that's a boy's name. Lilium. Lilium. Yeah. Oh. It's like William. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I what does your she's dog? A boy now. What does your dog identify as? A girl. Oh. <laughs> you calling her Lillian? I thought I felt like that was a trick question. <laughs> That's what they all trick Wait, questions. So, so you get on all fours and like bite your dogs. <laughs> I'm trying to picture. No, that. like yeah. I won't like bite her hard, but like like we'll we'll you yeah, like, you like bark at her. I'll get on all fours and then like I'll rub my head against her and then like shoot. She's vicious. She's a yeah. poodle, so like yeah. she'll bite me. And then like yeah, I'll like nibble at you a little bit. Pretend like, the microphone's all Liam. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Pretend but, the microphone's all Liam. Show. <laughs> <laughs> like, <I'm> like <laughs> you know, <laughs> barista. <laughs> Yo, my my family gets a kick out of that when I play with her because she yeah. gets she has like a a wild owl. She like, gets bananas. Yeah, yeah at zooms. Night. It's called the zoomies. When yeah, dogs yeah, yeah. go crazy, they get the zoomies. At night, she just gets wild, and like I get down. I'm the only one crazy enough to get down there and just like you know get her energy out. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she would not think you're talking about a dog the way you're talking. Right now. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. You have a dirty mind, right? We might have to edit that out. <laughs> 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 All right. Um. Hey. Oh. How you doing? All right, Anthony. Overrated, underrated, or perfectly rated? Floyd Money Mayweather. Underrated. I feel like he doesn't get the respect he deserves. He made the most money that any boxer has ever made. Times 10. Maybe even times more. And yeah, he just made a statement that like, if you discipline your whole entire life to the sport, you could be that big. Like, so I think he's underrated. I don't think he gets the credit that he deserves. I think he's perfectly rated. Everybody says he's the best. A um, lot of people don't say he's the best though. There's I mean, he, arguments that he's not the best he was, ever. He was, but he, he was the, the best, best ever. track star that was a boxer also though. He just ran. You know what it is? Oh I think, yeah, no, yo, he would run. He would go to the run. club. After no, I mean run as in like. Ah, uh, nah, he wasn't running though. He was boxing. People get that mix. Yeah, that's right. At the end of his career, he was People, more. If, if anybody could do that, not get hit, hit, win the rounds, they would do it. They just couldn't do it. I feel he like was he the only also one that like could do it. The fights to be convenient to him. Oh, because he, he was his own boss, so he did. Yeah, like, he did. Like pick he fought Pacquiao. To, he fought two years too late. Hundred percent. He picked the right fighters to fight at the right times. So he fought Pacquiao and he's washed. He fought. De La Hoya when he was on his way out. He yeah. fought Mosley when he was on his way. He fought all the he fighters at Canelo the right time. He fought Canelo in his prime, though. Maybe. Like nah, he, you know, Canelo was way too young. He was a baby. He was 21. But he, I mean, yo, it's crazy how many fights Canelo won, though. Because oh, he, no. he lost Canelo, that one and another one. Again. Canelo's a legend after that. He learned from Mayweather. But Mayweather, Mayweather fought everyone at the right times because he could, though. Because he was his own boss. He bought out of his contract. He was with top rank. And then he bought out of that contract. And then he was his own boss, Mayweather Promotions. And that's why he was able to do that. You know? A lot of people, a lot of these fighters aren't able to do that. You're with a promoter, they say when you have to fight and you fight. That's it. My only knock on Mayweather, but this is not even a knock. This is just me being like nitpicky, is that he didn't go 50. You know what I mean? He no, ended he didn't up, go 50. No. He, he went 50. And then the one against uh, Logan Paul, that wasn't a real fight. I thought that was the 50th one. Oh, no, no, no. It was McGregor. McGregor was oh, his yeah. 50th. Yeah. See, so that's like, exactly what I yeah, mean. Yeah, a lot you know of people I mean? give like a knock for that. No, but it's not like, MMA bro, he's still 49 and all. You know what I mean? Like, that's ridiculous. And on in statistics, he's 50 and 0 still. But yeah, I mean, to fight McGregor. I that know, McGregor fight, fight counted as a pro fight? Yeah. Wow. He also made, that's probably the most money he made on a fight. Forget too. it. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure he made 300 million on that fight. Bro. He just blows money, though. Yeah, he has a big payroll too. All those security yeah. guards and everything. In his in his car collection, 
Like he has a lot of uh, dimensions, everything. I think that's why he's still probably doing these exhibitions. Yeah. You know, he needs money. Yeah. He has a Imagine big payroll. 70, he comes back and like fights. Uh, <laughs> fights like the top dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gets that's, smoked. That's kind of what Tyson 50 did. 50 and 1. Tyson did that not too long ago, right? He fought in like uh, Dubai, I think, or something. Something like that. Over, yeah, during the pandemic. Well, mm-hmm. he fought Holyfield again, no? Yeah. It was, right? Yeah, in Dubai for a trillion dollars. <laughs> no, yeah, really. probably. A trillion. Uh, next one, Javante. Javante, I think he's perfectly rated because he has a lot of, like, everybody knows that he's like the new Tyson of the lightweight era. Like, hits like a heavyweight and he's a lightweight. Killing everybody, knocking out everybody that he fights. I mean, I think he's perfectly rated. Yeah, he's I feel like he's everybody's dog. favorite. He got that dog in him. You could just see got him. that dog in him, and he's got the power. He's got the speed. He's got the IQ. People don't know that. Like he, like he's very smart in there. He's a smaller guy, and sometimes he'll box guys, yeah. and then he'll fight when he chooses to. Like he's he's perfectly rated. I feel like last one, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, I think, is underrated because people look at him. As like an Instagram boxer, and you because he does his thing on social media, but people don't know he's like a twenty-something time national champion. You know how hard it is to win the nationals in amateur boxing. I only went to the nationals once, and I won the first fight. I lost my second fight, but I only competed in the nationals once. I was I I fought in New York mostly, but like you go to the nationals, you're competing against America, and you won over twenty-something times. I get that kid's way underrated. People don't know how good he is. Who are you taking in that fight? <clears throat> I'm edging Ryan. I'm edging Ryan, really? but, it, but it's 50-50. I think it's 50-50. If you're a betting man. I would never bet on that fight. Yeah, I wouldn't want to bet on that. I would either. never bet on that just fight. Just got to watch and enjoy But if I one. had to bet on that fight, I would go with Ryan just because I feel like his height and everything is going to... And his speed. He's a little quicker. He's a little quicker than Javante, but Javante has that power like Tyson that like yeah. any moment he could hurt Ryan and get him out of there. So like, I don't know. They both have like advantages, disadvantages, and it's just going to, it's whoever shows up the best that night, I think is going to win. It's going to be a good fight. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing fight. Is there anything else you want to say before we go? Yeah, there's one more thing. I want to, a lot of people don't know this because I don't say it on TikTok, but I lost my brother at, year and a half ago. And the reason why I don't say it on TikTok is because I don't want people feeling bad for me or anything like that. But everything that good that happens from my life, I stem to my brother, Vincent Paul DeMonte. And I just want to say that, that like he's the angel on my shoulder. And I feel like all the good I get in my life is from him. And Rest in uh, peace. Yeah. Sam. Thank you. I'm sure he's watching over you looking down. Super proud of you, bro. So yeah, keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you bro. for coming on the pod it. too, bro. No, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, and I um, last thing I want to say is I probably, when the Mutzadel video blew up, you guys reposted me, you know, and it, it went even crazier after that. And now we're here. And I told you that when, when I uh, ran into you. It's, yeah. it's just crazy how life works. Absolutely. So, thank you, It comes guys. full circle, bro. Yeah, nah, you, we'll, yeah. You'll be on again for sure. Definitely. 100%. I'll have a part Anytime. two. Anytime. All the best to you, my man. Barista. Barista, little black pecker.